team and welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'll be showing you how you can integrate os dependency check tool with jenkins in case if you don't know what is os dependency check basically it's a tool which is used for scanning your source code for finding the publicly uh, uh, publicly announced vulnerabilities that may be present in your dependencies of the source code so you you may have a source code that might be on github gitlab or on your local system so you can basically integrate this uh, tool with jenkins and perform the uh, analysis to generate a report in html or xml format to <coughs> find out that if there are any uh, vulnerabilities in your dependencies so same thing i will show you also in case you don't know how to set up jenkins you can follow the video in the description so with that being said let's get started okay so first of all what we will do <coughs> we will install some plugins so for that we will go to manage jenkins and go to manage plugins here we will select available plugins and first of all we will search as wasp and select this and click on install without restart <coughs> now we can see download is in progress and it has completed now and again we will go to available available plugins and here we will search for open jdk <coughs> yeah and we will select this install it as well because we cannot use like uh, the commercial one so we'll be using open jdk okay once these two things are done what we will do we will again go to manage jenkins and now we need to configure dependency check and uh, jdk so we'll open global tool configuration scroll down to last and here dependency check as you can see depends dependency check installations we'll click on add dependency check and here we'll provide a name maybe <coughs> dp dash check you can provide any name but i will just provide this one and I click on install automatically and in installer select the first one and here we just need to select a version so i will select 7.2.0 and then click on apply yeah this is done next we will add maven also because we'll be using a maven project so we will here provide the name maven and we will <coughs> use this version itself click on apply again scroll up and go to jdk now what we will do we will add jdk as well so here we will provide the name as open jdk dash 11 and <coughs> you can see this is like the commercial one so we will not use this we will click this to close and again select a different installer so since we just installed that plugin eclipse one this is the one so we'll click on it and select jdk 11 and then click on apply okay once these things are done that means our dependency check jdk and maven has been configured successfully now we will go back to dashboard and here we will create our first job we'll provide the name as wasp dp check and this will be freestyle i will create a pipeline also but let's start with freestyle and then click ok and first of all let me just select this option to keep just two no, uh, two bits we'll scroll down <coughs> now coming to project so what project i'm going to use is pet clinic which is from springboard <coughs> we will open the first one okay this is gradle gradle we don't want let me open the second one <coughs> yeah this is uh, maven based palm uh, with palm file so this will be used and since this is like uh, open source and available for free so we'll copy the url and paste it in our job <coughs> and since it is like open source so it doesn't require a uh, credential <coughs> okay now we need to specify the branch name so if i go back to github you can see the branch is main so we'll <coughs> provide the name as main okay now scroll down 
and in build steps we will add invoke dependency check this option is coming because we have configured and installed the plugin OS dependency check that is why this option is visible here we will select it <coughs> and you can see the one that we configured is available here if you have configured multiple uh, dependency check versions then all the versions will be available and you can select the one okay now coming to arguments so basically this is the most important part when you are going to use OS dependency check because this this refers to the things like what kind of, of uh, like instructions you want to give for the dependency check so what I will do for that we will search as OS dependency check arguments and open the first one so this is basically the list of arguments which could be used for example if you want to scan specific directory you can use this uh, argument and then provide the path and then we have format so format is basically uh, argument which will help you to provide the <coughs> format of the uh, report because dependency check is going to generate a report so we'll provide this argument and provide the format as html okay okay so for now i will just keep it this much and click on apply okay this is saved now we'll go back to job and click on build now and since we are doing it for the first time so this might take a little bit of time but let's see how much time it takes you can see unpacking this dependency check uh, package so since we are doing it for the first time it is unpacking and it is going to install also dependency check uh, this tool requires several set of packages and dependencies to be downloaded first so that it could like associate and figure out the uh, vulnerabilities in your dependencies so that is also going to take a bit of time so we will just see what happens okay meanwhile just one more time <coughs> what i will do i will just uh, check the status of jenkins So, sudo systemctl status Jenkins. Yeah, it is running now. Okay. Okay. So, what I will do? I will just speed up this video and then I will be back once this part is completed. Okay. Okay. So, we can see the analysis has been successful. If I go back to the job, open the workspace which is created after the job has completed. We can see there is a specific file in the HTML format has been created. Okay, so if I click on it, you can see whole report. If I, yeah, project was dp check which was the name of our job. Scan information if I click on show all. Okay, so all the information whatever like scan, after scanning whatever vulnerabilities have been found it is visible here okay now we will go back and what i will do now is create a pipeline job okay so i will click on here <coughs> click on dp check dash one or something whatever name you want you can give it okay yeah select the format as pipeline click ok and we'll be uh, you'll be using a template okay yeah scroll down try sample pipeline hello world we will select and now first stage will be the uh, like fetching the source code from git so we'll provide the name as scm okay and instead of uh, yeah before like uh, writing these steps what i will do i will just copy one it one time so that next step we can add it here itself okay yeah now i will open this pipeline syntax this new page and here we will search for dependency check yeah dependency check invokes invoke dependency check yeah select this and version we have already configured here format we will select format as html 
if you don't provide any format then by default it will be like creating an xml format here we'll click on generate dependency check okay okay this should work we'll copy this meanwhile just let me check okay let me see see dependency check publisher by default only it is uh, taking the xml uh, report pattern and here we need to provide but uh, this i will not do okay so going back here again here we will provide the name as uh, provide the content as this one uh, <coughs> name i will provide as dependency check and on above side we need to provide the repository so again we will go to <coughs> pipeline syntax select git and here we need to provide the source code copy the url paste it here and branch is main credential we don't need to provide because it is like open source standard this script copy this and paste it here okay sorry it got like backspace and now it is back again okay no issues we will configure the same again click on hello world copy this one more time paste this provide the name as a cm and here we will paste the uh, yeah git part and this will be our dependency check step and here again we will select dependency check in over dependency check format html generate this script copy this and we will paste it here click on apply and we will trigger the job now let's see what happens <coughs> okay it is success what we will do we will go back to the job <laughs> Okay, we need to check for the workspace yeah workspace is here we will open it and open the workspace here also you can see the HTML format report has been generated and same thing we will be seeing the one that we saw in freestyle job okay report has been generated which is visible what is the issue which level of the issue are uh, vulnerabilities in the dependency every information is here okay so this is how like we can integrate jenkins with the dependency check and we can generate reports for the same